Ramos is following this. This cannot get any more interesting. Good morning, Stephanie Ramos. Good morning. All right. So we know the story that the EpiPen price has gone through the roof. We know the CEO's uh, pay has gone through the roof. Now, yesterday they were trying to cover themselves with some PR moves. And then a senator gets up, and that's when it really gets interesting. What's going on now? Yeah. So you're absolutely right. Mylan yesterday, uh, the company that uh, produces the EpiPen, they said they were going to increase assistance for EpiPen buyers. So basically expanding their savings program to cover up or to cover out-of-pocket expenses for, um, for, for the EpiPen. So helping folks out that can't really afford the, the skyrocketing price of, of the EpiPen. A lot of lawmakers here in D.C. are outraged, and they say this is just a PR fix, as you mentioned, um, and, and, not, and not happy with Mylan at all. They also, uh, many of the lawmakers here, uh, members of Congress, sent letters to Mylan uh, demanding that they lower their prices and also demanding answers and who knows, we may see a hearing come out of this. Um, it's too early to tell, but we do. We have heard from Milan CEO Heather Bresch, who says that she reached out to the lawmakers here. Um, and from our sources, our colleagues on Capitol Hill, it seems as though she reached out to their front offices and didn't really get a chance to speak with them one-on-one. Uh, so who knows? We may, we may see that today. But um, uh, lawmakers here in Washington are very, very upset about this. Stephanie, did anybody point out the the hypocrisy of some elected officials wanting government out of health care at the same time having government demand that Milan lower their prices for their EpiPen? No, we haven't heard that just yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if we did in, in the coming days. Right now, the focus has been on Mylan and these soaring prices and not so much the you know intricacies of how this is happening or how it could be prevented. Um, but we do know that, uh, you know, Senator Joe Manchin, Democratic Senator Joe Manchin, has also spoken out. You know, that, and what's interesting is that he's in a very unusual position. He is Milan's CEO's dad. So um, uh, it, it's, it's a tough spot for him because he's, he's also come out uh, against this. But he's got a very, uh, obviously, strong relationship with his daughter and the, the Democrat from West Virginia. He's. Uh, also received more than $100,000 in campaign contributions from donors connected to Mylan. So this is still unraveling, and I'm sure we'll hear much more about this in the coming days. Stephanie Ramos, ABC News correspondent. Thanks for keeping us up to date. Yeah, no problem. Talk to you soon. You got it. 625, Big 550.